This horrible crash is very painful for everyone involved. Zach Kraft saved his extra money for more than a year so he could buy a motorcycle. He put his bike into his pickup truck and parked it outside of his home. When he went to check on it the next day, it was gone. I was a little upset, um, and uh, so I went ahead and filed my police report. The next time Zach saw his bike was on TV. It had been in a crash, and the man who was riding his bike was dead. I absolutely never once wished this upon anybody. Um, I just wanted my motorcycle back, that's it. You know, I would have been okay if he would have just left it on the side of the road and been done with it and I could have it back. This was never what I wanted, that's horrible. The man riding the bike, 29-year-old Sean Miner. Sean loved his family, especially his nieces and nephews. He has two children of his own and a lot of people who love him. His family wants to thank the man who stopped and prayed with him during his final minutes. We appreciate him being there with our brother so much so that he didn't have to go alone. Things have been tough for Sean's family. They are still in mourning from a previous loss. We just buried our mom not, not, even, a, not even a year ago. So this was totally unexpected. We're still mourning her and now we have to mourn another one. Because of the circumstances, the family says social media has been cruel. He's still a person. Everybody's not perfect. And we understand that. But he's still a person. He's still a brother. He's still a father. He's a son. He's a father. You know? He's a brother. We, we still love him. love him. We love him. And we miss him. Despite Even though he him. hasn't, you know, been the perfect, the perfect person. We were hoping that, you know, it could change. And now it's gone. With photographer Mike Clues, John Chapman, WOWT 6 News.